we're in the kitchen with Sherry Lyles, who's going to make some gazpacho and some pimento cheese. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to taste some four-berry ice cream, and she's using the produce from her garden. And I need a way to use up uh, produce that's coming in in big batches. And right now, uh, that is cucumbers and tomatoes. So it's just a natural to make uh, gazpacho. gazpacho. So all I'm doing with this wonderful uh, Roma tomato here is chopping up some big chunks. I'm cutting off any places that I don't like the looks of. And that goes in the compost pile. And taking off the stem. You'll notice that I am not necessarily scooping out uh, seeds. I'm not peeling this. Uh, so that makes it simple. But if you wanted to do that, uh, if you wanted to peel your tomatoes, you could certainly blanch them in uh, boiling water. Um, but to, for me, I, I don't mind the peels. And I, I think you just get a little extra nutrient that way. Just big chunks is all you need. Then we're going to put all of this in a blender. All right, so, so far we've got some green pepper, and I just put in one uh, for the amount of tomato I had. Let's put in also uh, some cucumber, and we'll just cut this into some um, fairly large one-inch uh, chunks. The onions that we planted in the spring, of all, all of those have been sold or else consumed here at the house. So, um, now this is a store-bought onion. And this one I'll cut into slightly smaller pieces. Set this on the blender and good. Some garlic that I'm not going to sell because as you can see one of them is bad. So produce that is not pretty enough for me to sell uh, we consume here. but. Most of the cloves in here are in pretty good shape. So today we're just going to go with uh, the garlic and uh, some salt and pepper. Now when I say pepper, I'm looking at uh, a red cayenne pepper because I want it to have just a tiny bit of spice, but I don't like real hot food. So just a little of that. And a little bit of ground black pepper. Uh, see what tastes good to you, a little salt, and now let's put in um, the liquid additions. I usually use uh, about a tablespoon of, uh, for this amount of gazpacho, for um, maybe a tablespoon and a half of the Worcestershire sauce. And then, like I said, this time we're going to use balsamic vinegar, so a couple tablespoons of that. There we go. And finally, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Now we'll mix that. All right. And then we're going to let this sit. You don't want to chop it so much that it's just a, like baby food. You really want a few chunks of your cucumber left in there, so I try not to overdo it. Gazpacho is uh, chilling in the refrigerator. Let's make some pimento cheese, and it makes a great lunch to have uh, pimento cheese sandwiches uh, um, and gazpacho. Um, I grow my own pimento peppers, and I have a little bowl of them here. This is a fairly small variety of pimento pepper. Uh, you want to get the peels off the pepper, and the best way is to put these in a little um, uh, in some water, blanch them, and then cover them overnight with a, uh, a wet towel. And they should be fairly easy to, uh, to peel at this point. So we're going to cut off the stem end, and you can see that the skin is just peeling right off. I'm using a combination of cheeses today. Uh, this is a mild cheddar that I grated up uh, ahead of time last night. And let's add to that, um, that's about eight ounces right there. Let's add to that uh, about eight ounces of, this is a cheddar and uh, Monterey Jack mix. And I'll use uh, about half of this and half of this uh, Havarti, which I think would be good. I'm adding a little paprika. Uh, just for uh, a little extra color and taste. 
and just a small dash of some um, red cayenne pepper uh, again don't need a lot but it just gives it a nice taste we're going to stir that in and then we'll be ready to spread this on a sandwich and have it for lunch I've got some um, locally made bread from the baker lady in Seymour it's a honey wheat bread and let's pour um, a little gazpacho to go with that and for dessert uh, we're having four berry ice cream made with Lyle's Acres uh, eggs and uh, four kinds of berries blackberries blueberries and strawberries all uh, and um, I left one out raspberries all from our uh, farm that is absolutely beautiful yeah plenty of um, vegetables plenty of um, uh, protein and uh, even a little fruit mixed in